Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Transformers the Movie Studio Series Core Class Ratchet figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We'll then have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We will of course do some comparisons with him and his original Generation 1 self as well as some other Ratchet figures that have been released down the generations toy line and then we're going to do a couple of other things as well so obviously because he's part of studio series 86 we'll see how he displays and looks with some of the other figures from that particular toy line um, and again because he's a core class figure we will see how well he displays and looks with other core class figures so there's quite a few things to go through today and the good thing is as i say we can have a decent look at him even though he is just core class and as i say see how he compares to pretty much all of these here so as i start to put all these away i just like to remind anybody if they're not subscribed to this channel if they'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because again it really does help me and this channel out now before i open him up first and foremost i need to thank robot recruits because that's the uk online store i purchased this from and as you can see they sent him to me nice and safely we also need to have a look at the artwork because the artwork on these boxes even though it's a nice small box is still brilliant so we've got pretty much the torso of him there full body picture there and a zoomed up of his head and pretty much the bust of him there we can see this is going to be quite intricate 15 steps for a core class it does look good um, i'm excited to see what this little guy looks like in honesty so without further ado let's cut him open and see well not him obviously let's cut the box open and have a look at him so what we've got they don't really come with backgrounds but they have got some images and uh, the image of this yeah that's him on board of course the autobot shuttle in the very beginning we can see he's got his two blasters there we can see that he's tie wrapped in unfortunately and we've got the instructions there so what i need to do now is obviously set him free from there and come right back to you right then so i've set him free from his packaging and it's time for some first impressions and in honesty i really like the look of this guy now this is the first time i've seen or handled this particular figure i've obviously seen pictures of it and i've not seen any other reviews um and i think from the pictures i mean what's really surprised me is i didn't like the look of this initially i thought it was perhaps too thin but in hand it's not too bad at all i um, mean again it is just a core class figure i think it looks great i think the proportions actually aren't as bad as what i had first perhaps thought of it's very articulate there's funnily enough you can twist the head it won't look up and down uh, due to transformation purposes um, and processes but you've got ball and socket in the shoulder that way you've got extra movement and flexion in the side there so you can even twist it for bicep you've got bicep flexion as well as twisting you've got uh, you don't have wrists you sort of have a waist swivel but again it's mainly for transformation it'll it'll move enough uh, but not all the way around but again more than enough for posability we've got ball and sockets there for the hips we've got knee flexion which again is ball and socket all tucked away inside there um, and of course we haven't got any feet um, as I say our ankle flexion but again for what we've got for the price we've paid and for the size of the model it's really good really impressed with it far better in honesty than I thought it would be we've got these lovely two little guns as well which you can have a bit more detailed look at in a second but first and foremost I think what we need to do now is have a look at him in his alternate mode so what we're going to do let's fold down the front like so hide the head there as you do that the whole roof section will lift up bring that down until it clips and then clip that over now what we're going to do we're going to turn the orientation of this around and pull the arm out and that will slot underneath then once the arm's in you're going to turn this cut out around to face like so so same on this side turn the orientation around so you've got basically it looks like that we're not having the red on there at all we're going to fold this under again the arm's going to go out turn the forearm round so it's probably better to be fair if you hold on to this part of the arm turn the forearm around there and then that's got the tab so as this comes under it will sit in place like so now we can swing the waist all the way around then we're going to lift the legs up out of the way and we're going to fold this part over like so so that'll seat back into position we're going to turn this around at the waist now 
so at the knee as well so turn the waist around and then what we've got is we've got this part which is going to fold out but we need to fold the back bit out first so if we fold this back into position you can see how this is going to go what we need to in fact we need to go that way around that's better and then fold that over so it sits underneath and then fold this out i will do a separate video of just the transformation process because i am still learning as i'm doing this so yes we need to fold this back turn this part at the knee that's it fold this out lift this up and then just start to tab it all in like so and there we go just a few tabs missing so it's quite clever that all of this was all folded away rather neatly to be honest in in all the legs so there's the tabs all clicking into place underneath and it's quite a cool little alternate mode so we've got cutouts there for the weapons and i'm pretty sure i would imagine that you could put yep yeah, if you wanted to you could put one of the blasters in the roof like so or let's just display them how we're expecting it or i think how it is in the picture one gun either side this has got to be the most armored up ratchet i think i've ever seen to be honest um lovely lovely little alternate mode great homage to this of course much much smaller um yeah it looks good doesn't it of course you've got the wheels that go around pretty much all covered up at the bottom nice detail there on the windscreen lovely fact that we've got the of course ambulance lights on the top um, and again it's not too bad this you can obviously tell that it's going to have some moving parts but it, it isn't too bad or at all right okay let's go back to the robot mode for the final part then some comparisons so let's take the guns off i think it's going to be easier if we separate this first is it yeah let's fold this out separate this part here and then fold this back fold it over itself so same with this these are going to be the legs back over itself let's bring this down because that's going to be the waist that's it spin it around much better the second time around fold that down there and then turn the orientation so the wheels are on the outside again i'll just do a separate video for the transformation now i've managed to get much better at it so there's the legs ready let's bring the arms out let's pull that back open up that there's a tab there to bring his head up perfect click that in turn the orientation around so we've got the ambulance uh I suppose cross red cross that's the word i'm after and then turn the orientation of the fist around like so so same with this turn it around and if it's probably easy if we just go the one way there there we go so there is the alternate mode again looking great i'm going to pop the blasters in his hands and we're going to do some comparisons and as i said this is definitely the most armored up ratchet i've ever seen the backdrop is pretty good to be honest even though you can't really see too much it doesn't look too bad at all there with regards to his original g1 self um it's actually very good isn't it and it's not far off the height in honesty uh this is probably the best or one of the best ratchets we've had down the generations toy line in all honesty as you can see far superior but for loads of different reasons right what we're going to do now then is finish up with a couple of display ideas or seeing how he displays and looks with other figures in the same class and in the same toy line now what am i about to say it's a little bit i don't know now i think the figure's great i think it's brilliant that we're getting core class figures but what i perhaps well i think what i'm trying to say is he shouldn't have been released as part of the studio series 86 and the reason why i'm saying that is just because of this so okay he's a core class but studio series 86 is all about um the scale and getting to be able to do the movie scenes quite accurately isn't it and obviously when you put him with the rest of the figures it doesn't scale at all because he's just a core class figure as a standalone core class figure he's fantastic i think he looks great and i think they perhaps should have just released him in legacy packaging or the new legacy evolution shall we say because again standalone core class brilliant with regards to the rest of the studio series 86 cast of course he's out of scale however as i say taking nothing away from the figure i think he's brilliant and i think he's great and as again we're going to just both just prove that with some of the other core class figures so again there you go there he is with optimus looks fantastic there he is with soundwave again looks fantastic and indeed of course shockwave um so again i don't want to sound negative on it i just think that perhaps if he'd have just been packaged in a legacy box um 
no real confusion. I do think the core class is great. I think the fact it gives opportunity for people with different budgets and, you know, different age groups for my kids, these will be fantastic. Um, as you can see, displays much, much better with these figures compared to the Studio Series 86 ones. That's my opinion. Um, obviously, it doesn't really count for much, but again, I'm not taking anything away from the figure. I think it's fantastic, and I'm pretty sure we'll get an Ironhide, which I'm also looking forward to see as well. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Take care.